Good morning, good morning. Aloha from beautiful Kauai. Here in Hawaii, um, it today is Friday for us, uh, although it's a Thursday, but we call it uh, uh, Aloha Friday or POW when we are done. Um, but today I want to really talk with you guys about to be careful of your language. The question is that sometimes people come to me and say, what did I say, or what did I ask, or what did I do um, that didn't get me results? And the whole thing is, guys, <clears throat> and welcome, is to watch your language. <clears throat> Why people call rugby as football? Uh, it's, it's, it started out with, um, you know, I'll go there because I'm, we're just waiting for a few people to join before we get into the language. Um, I'm from India, thanks for joining. Um, the whole thing with rugby is that um, it, it, it came from soccer, which um, it was always called football in England, and when they started running with it, they called it rugby football because the guys started running with the soccer ball, and so the name rugby football always, always stuck like that. And, um, hey Martha, <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for joining. Please share um, and um, give me some hearts and likes. Tap on the screen if I deliver some value. So that's how rugby football be became rugby football and not just rugby. And the common thing when I grew up was we just called it football um, or African Afrikaans football in the end. Um, you know, in South, in South Africa and, um, you know, in Australia, places like that, they just call it footy, you know, um, but it could be Australian rules football or regular football. Anyway, guys, the reason why we are here is to get back um, to be careful of watching your language and what should you say and how should your language be. Um, thank you, brother. Uh, Lazar is my buddy. Uh, he's in a mastermind top earner club with me. Thanks for joining. And I'm sharing this with you, I learned this from um, Ray Higdon, our mutual mentor, me and mine and Lazarus's. And um, it was at um, the latest um, prospecting and recruiting summit that we learned this. Um, but you know, I've, I've been pointed out similar things before, and it's, it's simply to be careful of what you never say, and here's the key, and if this is giving you some value, tap on the screen and, and, and let me know. You never, never say what you don't want. Say what you do want. So if a, car, a guy drives by in a Jaguar, for example, and he is saying, thank you for joining, Metzera, I'll give you a shout out too. Um, if he's, and you see, mm, that guy must be rich or whatever, and you despise him, you will never have that. Your attitude need to be, and I can afford that too. And then, if that may be not something that you want, you can say, mm, "That's a lovely car. It's not my type." And what I want is a Mercedes or a BMW. And if somebody is very successful in their business as a network marketer, you would say, "That is great. That is not for me. But what I want is." And then you say, "I want to be a very successful affiliate marketer or life coach." In every time you do something, you think about it, think about what you want and put that out there, guys. Don't put out there what you don't want because that attracts the negative. You're just saying to the universe, I don't want that. So you're pushing it all away. But if you say, what I want is this, I don't want this, but what I want is this, then you are opening up a vacuum and you ha and it has no obligation but to fulfill you and to feed you with that. So always say what you want and pr just don't think it, but, but show that in your actions, say that in your words. Um, thank you for all the hearts and likes. I'm glad I'm delivering some value to you guys today. Uh, let me know where you're joining from, other than those that I already know. Hey Martha, we need to talk sometime soon. Uh, send me an inbox message. Laz, buddy, I know we need to get together too sometime and chat about the virtual assistant service. Um, anyway, guys, I'm off here. It's another gorgeous day in beautiful Kauai. I wish you could be here with me today. Um, thank you for joining. And uh, before you go, uh, jump onto my website. Uh, it's my name, johanvenardi.com, or simply go to rugbydude.com. It's the same place. And uh, 
and just uh, go there and there's a, you'll see on the free on the front page there's a free video book um, that will help you discover the secret to craft unstoppable growth and contribution in your life. Tony Robbins says that there are six basic human needs and I'll talk about that at a different time but the two most significant ones of those are growth and contribution and this video book series will help you to discover that unstoppable growth and contribution. So guys take care, aloha, God bless and remember watch your language today Make a little note somewhere on a notepad or put a little sticker in your car or in your office, wherever you are, and that can remind you always to watch your language so that your language is positive and yet you can speak to what you want and to make your life better for others. Thank you so much for all the arts, all the likes. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, <laughs> um, and I really appreciate the value you guys are giving me today. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Take care. Aloha.